Hi, Soul Garden family. I'm Sadiqa, the Renegade Aromatherapist. I'm so glad you tuned back in today because it's part two of what we started last week. So remember last week, I brought to present how harmful everyday, regular, normal household cleaners are actually to the human being. They are detrimental to our respiratory system. They're detrimental to our liver, our neurological functioning. They're cancer causing. They are literally poisoning us. So hopefully by now you have committed to not buying any of them ever again. And today I'm going to give you a bunch of solutions. It's really easy and far cheaper to make your own natural cleaning solutions than purchasing things. So remember, this is important. Don't gather up all your uh, furniture polishes and degreasers and, and window cleaners and chuck them in the garbage because they're just going to go into a landfill and sink into our soil and get more into our water system and our food system. So you want to contact a hazardous, hazardous waste management office in any local government office and find out what do I do with these things if you don't want them sitting around. Or a second option is, if that doesn't feel like something you're actually going to do, then use up your products and never buy them again. And start fresh. Every time you get to the bottom of a bottle, you're going to recycle it, not in your trash can, but in your home. You're now going to clean it out and you're going to put essential oils in it with water and other things and that's going to be your new cleaner and you can just label it as the new cleaner. Let me tell you how beautiful it is to clean with all natural products that are driven by medicinal aromatherapy. It takes something that normally I'm really not wanting to spend my time doing and makes it into a beautiful communion with nature and with getting stuff done. I mean, all of us, even if we're sloppy, all of us appreciate coming into a clean home, an orderly, tidy room, a sparkling bathroom. There's just something about it that's deeply satisfying and fulfilling. So I hope you've got a pen and some paper. I am going to have to check in with my notes so I get the recipes right. I don't want to give you any misinformation. Now all essential oils are antibacterial. So really any essential oil that you love, you can use in your cleaning products. There are a few that have a little extra zest and zim and vim and boom that I love to clean with. All the citruses are fabulous. The lavender family, fabulous. Uh, rosemary, great essence to clean with. The pine family, fabulous. The mints, nice and fresh and, and uh, ants don't like them either so it keeps bugs away. Um, so what you'll need to get your all natural cleaning kit started Four ingredients, that's it. Castile soap, borax, white vinegar, and baking soda. Simple, right? So let's start with one of the biggest issues, dish washing liquid. All you need for this recipe is liquid castile soap, a 24 ounce squirt bottle. You're gonna fill it with the castile soap and you're going to put between 20 and 30 drops of essential oils. I like to use about three different oils so that there's a, a depth or richness to the product. Because I wash a lot of dishes, I don't use a dishwasher, so it's nice to have that, the layers of fragrance when I'm washing dishes. It makes the whole experience a thousand times better. So a recipe that you could do with your Castile soap and your 24 or 20 ounce squirt bottle would be uh, six drops of lemongrass, 10 drops of lavender, I like lavender spike, but you can use any lavender, and 10 drops of bergamot. That's gonna be a really nice uh, fragrant palette. Another option that you could do, 10 drops of lavender, eight drops of rosemary, eight drops of lime, fabulous. But you know, rosewood, beautiful, patchouli and orange, that would make a dynamite dishwashing liquid. Now, let's talk about for stains, what do you do when you have a persistent stain? You're going to get a quarter cup of baking soda, a quarter cup of borax, and you're gonna put eight drops of tea tree in it and four drops of birch. And you're gonna seal it with three quarters cup 
excuse me, you're going to seal it in an airtight container. You're going to need white vinegar for rinsing, but the actual scrub is just those four ingredients. And then on your stain, you're going to apply and rub and scrub out the stain and then rinse it with white vinegar. Simple, easy, non-toxic. So scrubbing showers, scrubbing countertops, scrubbing sinks. A really great natural scrub would be a quarter cup of baking soda, a half a cup of vinegar, four drops of frankincense, four drops of raven sara. Now that's a personal favorite of mine. I love using frankincense and raven sara on my chest for respiratory issues and for cleansing energy. Great to scrub with. You could also do lime and rosemary. You could do rosewood and bergamot. You could do jasmine and white pine. It is literally endless with what you could do. So whatever you have in your cabinet, experiment and see what smells make you come alive and make you feel happy. Once you've scrubbed, then rinse it. Simple, done. Degreaser, two cups of water, a quarter cup of an oil-based soap, 10 drops of rosemary, 10 drops of an orange. And that you can use to clean your stove or any kind of greasy area. Microwaves, they get all gunky and disgusting. So what you need to do, baking soda. Quarter cup of baking soda with a teaspoon of vinegar. And then six drops of lemongrass, because lemongrass has a good cutting edge to it. You could try peppermint, you could try birch also and scrub your microwave, keep the door open, rinse it out, and let the door stay open so that the fumes leave the microwave so the next time you use it. But really, if I'm gonna speak from my heart, I hope you're not using your microwave because it's just a radiation machine that you're putting radioactive waves into your food. So in my house, if there's ever a microwave, it's turned off and it's where I store my superfoods. But if you are a microwave user, there you go, there's a natural cleaner. So those are just some ideas of how you can naturally clean in your house where you're benefiting from your cleaning product rather than harming yourself and harming the planet. Because remember, everything you put on the surfaces of your house is going in somehow, whether it's on your dog's paws, your child's knees as she crawls, on your food, going into your body and making it harder for you to stay healthy and well. So in the interest of feeling good and living well and really respecting this beautiful planet and all that she gives us, go natural. And get in touch if you want more recipes or if you want um, to get some essential oils to assist you in your house vitality. So until next week, have an aromatic day. So